believable. You'll be surprised what our very own brother has started saying again. I mean, he's on it. Joey Bukwe, he will not stop. He said, we have finished the job. Ashiwaju is the next president of Nigeria. Don't forget that everybody will support the candidate of their choice, will speak for the candidate of their choice, and will definitely do everything, humanly speaking, possible to ensure that, you know, their choice, their, you know, the person they, they prefer, you know, is the one who becomes Nigerian's president. For our very own brother, the person he prefers uh, is Ashiwaja Mebola Tinobo, talking about the person of Joey Bukwe. And he says, you know, according to him, the plans have been perfected. Ashiwaja Mebola Tinobo will be the next president of Nigeria. However, reports and matters we are hearing are quite different from his suggestion. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu is the next president of Nigeria. We have finished the job, Joe Ibukwe said. It is no longer news that the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, former governor of Lagos State, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu, has been screened by the party committee coming upcoming presidential primary elections. And this, this is coming from Joe Ibukwe. It says, it will be recalled that Tinobu has recently screened for the party, has been screened at the party headquarters and is making all necessary requirements to ensure he becomes the presidential candidate. He has met it all. It will also be recalled that APC leaders is expected to face challenges for, from Vice President Yemi Osibanjo as well as many, many other aspirants on things currently going on. Following the competitions of the screening exercise, all Progressive Congress chieftain, Lagos State Ashiwajo Joe Ibukwe has stated that the job has the job has been completed for Tinubu to become the next president of Nigeria. He met all the requirements and he did everything possible. Joe Ibukwe took to his Facebook page on Monday to ask his followers to take note of what would happen take this know this believe this remember this note this we have finished the job ashiwaja medbola tinobu is the next president of nigeria he posted on his twitter account nigerians must note take and prepare remember that this is the next president the man who will decide the future of this country tinobu has the best ideas and things to do to ensure that nigeria becomes the best nation He's doing everything he can to ensure that the nation is truly and thoroughly transformed. Tinubu has stood for the people and is doing everything possible to ensure that Nigeria is transformed. So this is what is happening currently right now. So my wonderful people, um, uh, this is what is going on and um, we will ensure that um, we keep you up to speed because for Joe Bukwe, you know, Ashiwaja Medbola Tinobu is the man to beat. He stands a shoulder high above every other one and is doing everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that, you know, uh, you know, he becomes Nigerian's president. Well, my wonderful people, these are the days upon us. Everyone must continue to ensure that we speak out and we do everything possible. Tinubu has said it before that um, he will not relent. He will not. That um, he will become Nigerian's president, come rain, come shine. He will do everything, humanly speaking, possible to ensure that he becomes Nigerian's president. And so this is what is happening right now. Okay, this is what is happening right now. Well, my wonderful people, Ashiwaju has told Nigerians, but is not the only contender. In fact, APC alone, we have 23, okay, who paid 1, 100 million naira each, 23 of them, okay? And uh, even our very own brother, Rocha Sokorocha, whom EFCC, you know, disgraced, you know, and, and just did all kinds of things to, he's still one of the persons, I mean, he's still screened. You know, the court said he'll be bailed at a fine of 500 million naira. We don't know how that money came about, but I mean, he was even more, you know, more expensive than the money he used to buy the presidential ticket. However, he was bailed, you know, and um, he was bailed. And, uh, you know, today, like they would say, the rest is history. It's got screened. 
and maybe he has faith or somebody has told him that wait he will become nigerian's president so my wonderful people these are possibilities and days upon us and why we all must rise up to the occasion and pick the candidate that could possibly you know make nigeria become a better nation you know with i mean apart from him we have 22 other candidates 22 you know 22 other candidates 22 you know, we have the vice president there, the Senate president there, I mean, form, uh, former minister of transportation. We have the governor of Kogi state, the governor of um, uh, Boeing state, the governor of Cross River state. I mean, you just name it. The list is endless. The list is endless. And guess what? At the end of the day, one person, not two, one person will become, one person will become the, the, the president of Nigeria. No, one person will become. So what do we do? So my people, this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. You know, so why we all must work at it and ensure that we deliver and, you know, parties will pick their presidential candidates. But at the end of the day, one of us, every one of us, because everyone has just a single vote, if that makes sense and it counts. If that is anything to go by, you will ha you just have one vote. Buhari have one vote. I have one vote. And we will be the determining factor of who becomes Nigerian's president. Because what is currently going on, President Muhammadu Buhari wants to impose himself on us. He wants to impose a candidate on us. And so that's why every one of us must rise to the occasion. You know, for, for Joe Ibuko, you can't blame him. Joe has said that, you know. He, he he wants to, Joe has said he wants to become a, you know, he, he knows that Buhari and uh, Tinubu will become Nigeria's next president. But is Tinubu really going to become Nigeria's president? As you and I know, Buhari has other plans. Buhari called all the governors, 22 of them, you know, under APC to, to, to bear, plead with them that they should allow him pick his, his successor be, the, way, the same way they picked their successors in their state and he did not interfere. So what is Buhari trying to do? Pick a consensus candidate. The same thing he did. If you know you're going to pick a consensus candidate, why did you allow people pay 100 million naira each? The same thing he did. Same thing, you know, when they picked an APC chairman. That's the same thing he's doing now. He wants to pick a consensus candidate. And that candidate, sadly, my people, that candidate is not Tinubu. You know, after Tinubu has midwife the birth of APC financially, you know, in cash and kind, see what is going on right now. So it is what it is. And why we all, you know, we cannot afford to double between opinions. We must choose the best candidate so that Nigeria as a country can move forward and we can all have, you know, the best you know, that could possibly bring a change to this country. So leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye.